So we're gonna work on word problems again. And remember when you do word problems, the first thing you have to do is define your variables. Well, not the first thing, but I guess the second thing after you read the problem. So a movie theater charges $6.50 for matinee showings and $8.75 for evening showings. Yesterday, the theater sold 378 tickets for a total revenue of $2,929.50. That word revenue means total amount of money altogether that they earned. This word matinee means a daytime showing. Like a daytime movie is cheaper than a nighttime movie. The question is how many matinee tickets were sold and how many evening tickets were sold. The Canvas assignment's gonna say both. And this is a problem off of today's A13 assignment. So your variables are going to be X and Y. And your variables are going to be the things that your question is asking you. Our question is asking us how many matinee tickets were sold. So X is going to be matinee tickets. And Y will be the evening tickets. So the first thing you do is you define your variables. You tell me what variables you're using and what they stand for. And I generally stick with X and Y so that I don't mistake one of the variables for a number by mistake. So the equations, we've got money, money, and money. So one of our equations is going to be all about money. So money for money for money. Money, money, money all goes together. So $6.50 for matinee showings. Well, the matinee tickets are X. So 650 and X go together. 875 for evening showings. Evening showings are Y, so 875 and Y have to go together. And the 650 is money, the 875 is money, so it has to equal money. And the only other money we have is this $2,929.50. So one equation is all about the money. The only other number we have is that the theater sold 378 tickets. So our other equation is going to equal 378. This one is all about the tickets. Tickets, tickets equals tickets. So the matinee tickets and the evening tickets together are 378. So that means X plus Y equals 378. If you're ever reading a word problem with these systems and you're like, oh, I don't know what my second equation is, see if X plus Y will work. A lot of times it does because the second equation is gonna be all about the tickets. Well, X is tickets, Y is tickets. So tickets plus tickets equals tickets. Now from here, we take our system and we make it into a matrix. Remember the first matrix is your coefficient matrix. So 6.5, I'm gonna drop off that zero because we're not gonna need it. And then the 8.75, that's on my top row. My bottom row will be one and one. I put my little negative one up there for inverse. And then I put matrix B, 2,929, 50, and 378. And it's important that you keep all of those things lined up. The, six, the 650, the 875, the $2,929.50, they all have to be on the same row. So now I'm gonna grab my Chromebook and I'm gonna go to Desmos, Dot com backslash matrix. That's my matrix calculator. It is embedded in every question that you work on today. So you won't have to be flipping from Canvas to Desmos. It'll all be right there. So I'm going to go to new matrix and it built matrix A for me as a two by two and that's what I want. So I'm going to type in my numbers. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit enter. And enter on there is just that blue button right there, the little arrow thing. And I'm gonna get new matrix B. B is not a two by two. B is a two by one. So I changed my columns to one. 
and I'm gonna type in 2,000, whoops, 2,900. Probably be easier to type it in down here on this keyboard. My fingers. 2,929.50 and 378. And I have to hit enter so that it's stored in there. Then we do A inverse B. So A, the little inverse button, B. And I don't even have to hit enter because it gives me my answer. So my answer is 168 and 210. But what does that answer mean? What does the 168 mean and what does the 210 mean? The 168 is the X value, so it's 168 for matinee. And the 210 is Y, and Y is evening, so 210 evening. And there's your answer. So what I expect to see on paper is you're defining the variables, your equations, your matrices, and then you're just using the calculator to solve it. And when you type your answer into Canvas, it'll tell you matinee and a blank, an evening and a blank, and you'll just enter those numbers. So let's look at one more together. Um, let's look at, I guess number two is good. Yeah, let's do number two. Number two, we're just going to set up, and I'm going to leave you to do the solving part. So number two says the rocket coaster has 15 cars, some that hold four people and some that hold six people. There is room for 72 people altogether. How many four passenger cars are there? How many six passenger cars are there? So I know I'm going to have X and Y. My question is how many four passenger cars are there? How many six passenger cars are there? Those are my two variables. So X is going to be the four passenger cars. And Y is going to be the six passenger cars. Okay. So one of our equations is going to be about the cars. It says the rocket coaster has 15 cars. So one equation is going to be all about the cars. So something equals 15. Well, look at your X and your Y. Those are both cars. So one of our equations is X plus Y equals 15. The other one is all about people. Remember it said 72 people all together. So our other equation is going to be all about the people. So what equals 72? How many people fit into the X passenger car? Four. So that means 4x. How many people fit into the, <coughs> excuse me, into the y cars? Six, so plus 6y. <coughs> so we have x plus y equals 15, and 4x plus 6y equals 72. From there, I want you to set up the matrix and solve it on your own. And then the rest of the problems on here are just like those two or like the ones we did on day one. So I think you'll be good to finish on your own. Remember, set up your matrix, use that Desmos matrix calculator. It's embedded in each question, so you don't have to jump from Canvas to another page. You just need paper and Canvas, and you'll be good to go because everything you need is right there.